So this system monitors uh, PV systems, and what we're looking at is we have a couple different views of the system. So here is an overview of the whole site, and we're seeing the a photo is a number of tracking systems, and then there's two inverters, so we're seeing the output of each inverter, and then we can see how all the devices are reporting, and they're all reporting up every couple minutes. Um, and then we have the overall summary of power output, energy output over the course of the day, this month, this year, lifetime of the system. And then there's some news and weather, so you can see if you're not nearby the site, you can see what the weather conditions are, which is useful. You can also then drill into more detail about the site. So we have specifics about the individual inverters on the site. And again, you can look over the course of different time periods. So here we have um, a nice sunny day. You can see the, each inverter output and then what the amount of sunlight coming in is on top of that. Uh, and there's a number of metrics that we can have here to show um, system performance in standard terms such as yield. And this gets sent, I mean, the, the client, your partners, can, they can access this on, from, at their, wherever they are and, and monitor their system. Yes, that's right. So there's a number of different... It's not like they're waiting for you for a, to call them and say, hey, you need to take, check on this. Right, right. right. So there's um, use this that end users can look at for just general production. Then there's use for owners and operators to look at alerts and fault conditions. Mm -hmm. And so the system will inform you when there's problems with uh, inverters or other hardware on the site. Um, and then there's other views you can look at. For example, here's a picture of a graphical view of the site um, showing all the different devices and how they're performing. And their, their color represents how much power they're putting out. So here's an example. We have three of these tracking systems that are not producing. So now when you get an alert for the site, you know exactly where to go to fix it. And you can actually go through the day and see how the power output looks throughout the day. Um, there's also views. So if there's a fault, like that black one was a fault. Mm -hmm. So there's no guesswork. They drive right over to it. They don't have to go up and down the road trying to figure it out. They can go right to the one. And like, I mean, is it even dialed them into like, what caused the fault? In some cases, yes. You know, whatever, yeah, whatever we can figure out, we tell the user. It's all about saving time. Um, this is a view across multiple sites. So one of the powerful features of our system is it lets you look at portfolios. And you can look at um, entire groups of systems. Here we have our alert history showing all the conditions that have caused problems throughout the course of a year. Um, there's also, you can zoom into that, and here we see actually a, a list of all the conditions in different sites and what they're producing. So there's summaries of production across, in this case, over 600 sites. And you can see exactly what your real-time production is, what your total capacity is, and all the different alert conditions.